planet Earth. The winds of change are rippling across its surface. Taxi cabs in New York are going hybrid. Light bulbs in Australia are going fluorescent. The whole of Vatican City is going carbon neutral. All around the globe, many of us are focused on changing our ways. Because last year, we accepted that the Earth itself is changing. And all 6.6 .6 billion of us are the cause. Assessing the Earth's health isn't quite as simple as taking its temperature. And with varying climates, populations, and economic circumstances, ecological issues don't always divide along national borders. But by culling and carefully comparing the best data from organizations like the United Nations, the Nature Conservancy, and the world's top research centers and universities, the EPI team believes they're establishing a meaningful baseline. We're a, a complicated animal, this planet. Uh, we've got lots of different pulses. But I'd also tell you that we're confident that we are presenting the cleanest, clearest, best picture of the state of the planet that is available today. Beginning with that blanket of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases stretching 348 miles above our heads, our atmosphere. It's those gases, not our oceans, that give Earth its blue hue from space. And over the past 250 years, the levels of greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide and methane, have grown greater than any time in the previous 650,000 years. Mike Fay is a conservationist and National Geographic explorer in residence. Carbon accumulated for uh, well over something like 200 million years on this planet. And in the last um, kind of 60, 80 years, uh, we have burned probably 100 million years worth of accumulated carbon. For decades, scientists and politicians have argued over the exact causes and implications of this increase. But on February 2, 2007, the fighting stopped. After six years reviewing all available research, hundreds of climate experts from more than 100 countries, including the United States, issued a report through the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that confirms the Earth's air and sea temperatures are climbing and that the burning of fossil fuels and other human activities like deforestation are driving the change. Having to admit that that is true um, is a milestone. There's no doubt about that. They, they can no longer deny it. And so now what we need to do is go from recognition of the problem to action. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are vital components of our atmosphere, trapping enough solar heat to make life possible. But as we pump more and more of these gases into the air, we trap more heat and the world gets warmer. Already, we've warmed up the Earth by about 0.8 degrees Celsius. And if we continue emitting CO2 into the atmosphere at the same rate, that's likely to climb some two to four degrees higher by the beginning of the next century.